I've got five way cool, dirt cheap, Halloween DIY decor ideas for you. So let's get started. If you're popping on by from DIY Beauty on Purpose and Lisa Burningham, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you could join us. I hope you enjoy what you see here and decide to stick around for a while. So this year I wanted to do more of a happy Halloween than a spooky Halloween theme. So all of my decor items are really kind of cheery and sparkly and fun and whimsical. And so I hope you enjoy that. This first DIY, I'm calling it a 0.5 because really I did this DIY DIY in my summer way cool dirt cheap and we used it as an option in my fall as well as now my Halloween so I'm not counting it as a DIY but for those of you who haven't seen this DIY I'll do a really quick review and if you want the full tutorial then I'm going to refer you over to my summer way cool dirt cheap episode where I show you how to do this and it's pretty self-explanatory all we did is we took this 18 inch wood round that I pick up at Home Depot for really inexpensive I believe it's six dollars and we usually do dual purpose so like one side will be this and then then I've got another one it's like patriotic one on the back but I've done several other where we kind of do dual purpose so I painted the edge banding in gold because it kind of went with my America theme and I've done most of my edges in the gold after that is I painted the whole body of it white and then we striped it with black so it's simple as that and if you want the full tutorial I'll link that summer way cool dirt sheep episode for you if you're doing this DIY honestly this one is really inexpensive it's like six dollars a little bit of painters tape and paint so I'll call it six dollars six fifty somewhere in there it was really inexpensive to make this what a good deal as I mentioned at the beginning of the episode I am collaborating today with Lisa Burningham and DIY Beauty on purpose I want them to introduce themselves to you so we will start with Lisa and later in the episode I will introduce you to Leah Knapp hey DIY Niners it's Lisa Burningham I am so excited to be collaborating with the fabulous Natalie today to bring you some fun fall DIYs. Once you're done watching Natalie create her amazing Halloween decor, come on over to my channel and I will show you how I took a thrifted pumpkin and a few Dollar Tree items and turned them into some romantic, beautiful and affordable pieces of seasonal decor. Enjoy the rest of Natalie's video and I hope to see you soon. All right, so for our first real Halloween way cool dirt cheap DIY decor item, we are gonna be doing some trick or treat tags. And I'm excited about this because it's, they're really cute. I had some scrap wood that I took outside and cut down into tags. They call it a one by six, but it's technically, I think only like five and a half inches wide. And then I cut it down to 16 inches and then I just cut off the edges at a 22 and a half degree angle on my miter saw. You don't have to use an electric miter. You can use a yellow miter box and cut them down by hand. Totally doable, not so hard. I just like the convenience and ease of using my miter saw because it's less work and that's my lazy way to do it. <laughs> Anyways, and then I put in a hole. I did a 3 8 inch hole and I hope that it's a good size for it, but you might want to do a half inch hole. And then I gave it a really good sand down so the edges weren't as raw and that they're kind of rounded. So these are prepped and ready to go for us. Now I've done these tags before in my Easter episode and I just used these chalkboards that I got from Dollar Tree and I kind of cut down the edges and used these, but I wanted something a little bit more substantial. So what I did this time is I had some scrap wood from my fireplace build left over. So this is free to me. Well, not really free, but it was leftover scrap. So I counted for it in my other project. So I'm counting it as free now. And you can find scrap wood for free. At construction sites even sometimes you can get some cutoffs and such at the home improvement store so check there if not it's really inexpensive now what we're gonna do we're gonna take some black chalk paint and we're gonna paint the entire front and sides now I'm not gonna do anything with the back at this point just because I might use it as like a reversible thing and do something with that for another holiday I like to do that you get a two for one but for this one we're just gonna do the front and sides in a black chalk paint 
I have a printable here for you that you can use to do an image transfer technique and then you can use the graphite paper with this and just trace the image onto your tags and hand paint trick or treat on in a white chalk paint. For me, I like the ease of using my Cricut vinyl stencils. It's a little cleaner look. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just use some stencils and I'm gonna peel the stencil back and put it on the dried tag. And then what I'm gonna do for a nice crisp edge, you know I like to do this process, is I'm gonna go back over it in the black. let that dry and then we'll take our white chalk paint and go over that and maybe do two coats of it so it's a nice opaque finish now here's an optional part for you so for me I'm adding a little glitter to almost all of my Halloween stuff. I just like it for Halloween. I think it's kind of fun. I like happy Halloween and not spooky Halloween, so there's gonna be glitter. <laughs> so I'm gonna go over the top of my trick or treat in a white glitter. I actually get these glitters from Dollar Tree. This is in a pack and we're gonna use the black in a little bit. But I'm gonna take this white glitter and I'm gonna mix it in with some Mod Podge. Now, I only had matte on hand. What I recommend when you're doing glitter is to to use the gloss Mod Podge, but I can't find any. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the matte because it's what I have on hand and the show must go on and I'm hoping that it will still work out just fine. Now, the reason I mix in the glitter with the Mod Podge is so it's not flaking everywhere and when it dries, it's completely encased, but you still get the shine of the glitter without all of the mess. So that's why I went doing it that way. Now, when this is all dried, then we're gonna peel back our stencil or if you're doing it by hand, you don't have to peel back a stencil, obviously. At this point, distress the edges if you want. I'm Even though I use the glitter, I'm still gonna distress around the edges. My husband gave me from his garage collection <laughs> some of these washers and they're really cute. And then we're just gonna glue these on the hole. I'm gonna use a little bit of hot glue. We're gonna take some nautical rope that we got from the Dollar Tree. I don't know if they still sell this or not, I hope so. This is from my stash. And we're gonna just thread it through and create a knot. Now I got this fun little pick at Michael's and we're gonna be using the majority of it, but I thought it would be really cute to just add a little decorative element. I thought I would take the leftovers of this pick and some ribbons that I had on hand and some extra pom-poms from a DIY coming up here in a minute and create a little something something for the top. Just a little bit of leftovers and odds and ends sometimes can make all the difference, but these tags are super adorable and can stand alone by themselves. I had probably maybe at most 50 cents worth of rope and then some leftovers from around my house and a little bit in supply. So I'm gonna call this under a dollar for this adorable trick or treat sign. So cute and what a deal at only a dollar. You can't go wrong. What do you think? So as a part of my Way Cool Dirt Cheaps, you know that I always do some sort of topiary and this is no exception. So this time I have a pumpkin themed topiary idea for you. If you've ever kind of popped on over to Grandin Road, they have really cool holiday decor pieces. I will preface that this idea was original before I ever saw the one on Grandin Road, but I came across this picture of Grandin Road and I'm like, yeah, I'm on the right track. But I have been doing this kind of a topiary for for years and years, probably a decade. So I picked up this from Target Dollar Spot last year, and I don't know if they have them this year. I haven't been into Target, admittedly, in a little while. If not, it would be pretty easy to DIY this. Just find an orange pumpkin and add some glittery circles on it. And so that would be pretty easy to do, but this one was ready to go. I also last year picked up these cute little guys from Dollar Tree. So I'm not gonna be using these for my topiary, but I might, because they match so cutely, I might kind of just pepper them through my little display. So I figure even if you can't find these exact items, you could recreate it really easily by just doing some glittery black polka dots. Our last DIY, I used the white glitter. And in this DIY, I'm gonna use the black glitter from the same packet from the Dollar Tree. And I picked up this at the Dollar Tree a while back. And if you ever come across something similar to this, snatch them up because you don't see them at Dollar Tree all the time, you might be able 
able to find them online. And this is kind of like a, a chalk finish, which is very similar to our tags that we just did, but I wanted to pump it up a little bit. So we're gonna just do that same glittering technique, but with the black. And we're gonna just do some accents of the black glitter by painting it on the upper portion and just kind of trying to follow the natural lines of this and adding just a touch of glitter to this face. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pumpkin and literally just set it on the top. Now you could permanently affix this, but with this being lightweight and foam, I'm not really worried about it getting knocked over and like damaged. It's pretty sturdy. And I want to be able to keep this as an option to use elsewhere. So all we really need to do is just kind of set it on top. It's super cute in and of itself, but to kind of up the ante just a little bit, I am gonna take some of of these leaves and some of these sticks and some of these greeneries but we call it like blackeries <laughs> I don't know and just snip off a little bit of these and hot glue them around the base of the stem of our pumpkin to just kind of add a little bit more of a finished high-end look to it so my target pumpkin was three dollars my candlestick was another dollar and then just using a little bit of this pick from Michaels we'll call it a dollar extra so that's five dollars plus a little bit of this and that. So between $5 and $5.50, you've got a really cute Halloween themed topiary. I think it's really cute. What do you think? Now it's time to introduce you to Leon Epp of DIY Beauty on Purpose. My name is Leon Epp and I am the host of DIY Beauty on Purpose here on YouTube. Today I am beyond excited because I get to collaborate with both Lisa and Natalie. When you are done watching this video, head on over to my channel. I'll be working on these DIYs and I cannot wait to show you how I made them. But now let's keep watching Natalie's video. Next up, we've got our wood canvas. Now, last time we did this apple wreath, the little mini apple wreath, which I thought was so cute. I did a couple wreaths and then I've also done some other things on it. We've used this for like six of these episodes. So we're gonna just take this wreath off and then we are left with a blank canvas and we just reuse this season after season, which I really love. And I've created this free printable for you and it will be below in the description box with all of the other printables I'm offering and what you technically could do is literally just cut this out and then just like tacky putty it in and call it a day but I wanted to up the ante a little bit so I'm gonna be doing mine in glitter paper and if you wanted to do this too just use this as kind of a template and put it over your glitter paper and cut it out but I just went ahead and cut mine out on my Cricut machine and I used glitter paper so we've got the orange glitter paper for October and it will go on the side and it will say October and then I've got the 31 and look at this adorable spider. And I just tacky putty them onto the frame. So then you've got this really cute sign, super easy to put together, like not much work at all. October 31st for Halloween with a little spider for just added cuteness. <laughs> Although spiders are not really cute, let's be honest. But in this case, it's kind of cute. So I originally paid $5 for this wood canvas and we've now used it six times. So we, that now drops the price of this wood canvas. It makes at 83 cents this time plus a little bit of glitter paper which I get on sale at Hobby Lobby for four for a dollar. I'm gonna call this just over a dollar for this one this time which is such a steal. That's pretty much dirt cheap. You don't get much cheaper than that. So what do you think? Now you're gonna want to stick with me to the very end because that's where my big free printable comes into play and it's a good one for this Halloween season. So stay tuned for that. So next up, I'm gonna be making a little garland to go on top of our printable. And you're gonna see why it all makes sense in just a second, because I've kind of got a witch theme going on. You haven't seen that yet, but it will kind of tie the whole thing together. Now I picked up this package of little witch hats at Dollar Tree package of five for $1. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna take these and we are gonna paint them out front and back in black chalk paint. We've been using the black chalk paint on several things so that will kind of make it all kind of cohesive. And on the brim of this witch's hat, we are going to add a little bit of glitter because our witch is a fancy witch. <laughs> And 
we're gonna let that all dry. And now while that's drying, the here's where we're gonna bring in our purple. We are gonna take some of this purple yarn, but it's kind of like a brighter purple and I love it. And you're gonna see this color in my printable that I'm offering next. And you wanna stay tuned to that printable because it is so much fun. I love my printables for my Way Cool Dirt Sheep episodes. We're gonna just make a pom-pom on our little mini pom-pom maker. And it's really easy to do. You just kind of open up one side and then you kind of wrap it back and forth, back and forth until it's full. And then we cut that off and close that side and we repeat this process on the other side. Wrap, 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 back and forth, back and forth until it's full. And then we close it. And then we take some scissors and snip, snip, snip down the middle on both sides and then we're gonna take another piece of our yarn and we tie that around the middle in a double knot, maybe even a triple knot, and then cut that off and leave a little bit of streamers. Then we just pop this off and you have a little mini pom-pom. And if you need to do a little haircut here and there on any little stragglers, go ahead and do that. We're gonna make about seven of those. I don't know if we'll use all of those. And then we're gonna just attach this to some twine. So once we have all of our purple pom-poms made, we are going to assemble our garland by tying them on with the leftover string from where we tied the knot on the pom-poms and then we are going to snip it off so it looks just like it was on there the whole time and you'll not see those end pieces and then we're going to rotate the purple pom-poms and the black glittery witch hats every other one and then we have a really cute garland Now, the yarn we used hardly any of. It's super inexpensive. I used a coupon and the witch's hat or a dollar. So I'm gonna call this a $2 garland and it is gonna look so cute on our printable, which is coming up next. But what do you think of this garland? And now the moment you've been waiting for, and probably the reason you've been watching this way cool dirt cheap is for my free Halloween printable. And it's a good one. I'm really excited. So you'll recall from my fall when I did an apple theme and it was this one and it's so cute. I love this one, but I love them every time. And this was no exception. This time we're shaking it up a little bit and this is really fun and spunky and it's gonna tie our whole color scheme and everything together. It's really adorable. And and it is this trick or treat, smell my feet. Well, it doesn't actually say feet, but it has these really cute witch's feet, which I actually got off of Miss Kate's Cuttables. Very cute. I'm gonna put a link to her website below. She has some other styles as well. And if you wanted to like design a whole theme to go on it, she sells them really inexpensive there. Such a fun DIY because it's so easy. All you have to do is take your print and stick it in the frame and you're done. Now, I normally have been recommending staples. Unfortunately, staples has been getting a little bit more expensive almost every time I go, it feels like. It got to the point where I thought this is not worth it, unfortunately, because their print quality is really good. I really like that, but they were gonna charge me $18. Plus, if I wanted to have it done same day, it was gonna be an additional $5, making it $23 for a 16 by 20. Now that is definitely not Dirt Cheap, which is the name of this series. So I've found a new option for you, which I think will actually be more accessible for most people, and that is Walgreens. I've done Walmart, they were like $12.99. I've done a couple of different places. Costco's also a good option. I've never used them because they're not as convenient to me. And I decided to give Walgreens a try this time, and their price for 16 by 20 is regularly, I think, $15.99. No, $15.99 is not that much cheaper than the Staples, however, I used a 50% off coupon that they had on their website, making it $7.99, which does fall within our $10 limit, which is awesome and perfect. And for such a big, beautiful piece of art, that is right in budget. And my understanding is it seems like that they have coupons regularly. So this 50% off coupon is, I think, good through the end of September. I think that there's Walgreens all over the place. So this should make it a really accessible option for 
for you, which is perfect. So $7.99 plus our free frame that I've had forever. So even though I'm not like a big Halloween decorator, I really love these DIYs that I did for you today. I think that this printable is super adorable. We've got stripes, we've got polka dots, we've got all kinds of funness, and it is a really cute and adorable Halloween instead of a spooky, scary Halloween, which is totally in line with me. <laughs> now, I wanted to tell you, on my Etsy shop, I just released a whole bunch of new printables. I've got a couple for fall, sunflowers and pumpkin patches. So if you haven't checked that out yet, I try to keep the cost down really low. They're very competitive. I love them. I hope you do too. So if you haven't checked out my Etsy shop, make sure you pop on by there. And don't forget for all of the free printables, I put a link in the description box below. Just wait for the link to load. It's just my little way of saying thank you so much for supporting my channel. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, here's another one that I think you'll like as well. Don't forget to check out Lisa and Leonette's episodes right after. There are links in the description box below. And until next time to all of my DIY Niners, bye.